Here we are, part 7.1 of my video walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We have just entered Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. This will be the third dungeon. Alright. It's a very trippy dungeon. Those uh, bubbles, there's lots of enemies in here that are, we just can't do anything to just yet. So, uh, being evasive is more useful than trying to be a powerhouse in this place. Whoa, man, this place is freaky. Hey, look! It's Princess Ruto! What is she doing here? Uh, she gets mad and runs away from us. Ugh. She really needs to pay attention to where she's going. She doesn't really want us to rescue her, but if we, like, keep talking to her and pestering her, she finally decides she'll let us rescue her. We'll have the privilege of being able to carry her around. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But oh well, it'll be alright. Now you kinda gotta chunk her up the ledge there. Oops, I didn't quite make it. Huh. Cause we'll have to climb up ourselves, but uh, first we need to get rid of these things. They're uh, kind of annoying. Little like, sand ray shark things, I, I don't know. This, this whole place is just like, freaking bizarre. And the enemies are bizarre to go with them. Especially like the bubbles. Oh good grief, just target the thing. Alright. This one was just giving me problems. And the screeching! I must make the screeching go away. I must. It is. It is vital. Ah, there we go. Hitting this button here will make the water rise. Woot! Then we can climb up and grab our Skeltilla token. And if we're real fast, we can come over here and climb up this ledge. Ah, oh, not quite fast enough. Yeah, they don't they don't give you very long before the water goes back down, so... Just have to get used to it. Alright, there we go. Yay, more princess carrying action. Oops. Yeah, if you run into a bubble, it'll pop it, but it'll hurt you. Ha ha ha! Oh, that was awesome. I hit the switch with her head. That was great. Stupid octopi. What the? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's head up this little elevator thing. And this will take us back up to where we first met her. Oh, please. Link didn't mean to touch you there. Alright. Very carefully run past all these little pitfalls. And then we'll enter this big, like, finger-like corridor. And we want to head to the right. And now uh, this switch is a weighted switch. It takes extra weight. But since we're carrying the princess, we can push it down. Even though Nave still feels that she needs to inform us about this, even though I just said it. Nave, I'm the one doing commentary. You can hush. Alright, we have more sand rays. More sand rays. Oh. Uh. Good grief, these things suck. Yeah, you gotta wait for him to pop out, and then shoot him with the slingshot. And then wait for them to, like, not be red, and then shoot him again. That's, uh, they're just annoying. But it'll be alright. If we had the boomerang, we could shoot him while they're in the ground, but we don't have a boomerang. Yay! Alright, defeating the four of them makes this chest appear. I wonder what's inside of it. Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Is it Mystic Treasure? Is it the map? Is it the compass? It's the boomerang! Yes! 
totally awesome. This thing rules. You can pick up items with it. You can smack enemies with it. It doesn't have any ammo. It doesn't have quite the range that the slingshot does. But, I think just all in all, it is just way far superior. And using the boomerang, we can kill the enemies in this place that we were unable to even damage before, such as these little snake things, but I still try to avoid them because they just suck. And the uh, bubbles and the squ electric squids and just all kinds of stuff. Around the very west side finger, this is a pressure switch. We need to have her act, uh, hold the switch down so that we can go in this room. And we have this long, slimy tentacle thing. I don't know. But uh, you can only hurt it with the boomerang, so just go ahead and smack it like three or four times. Try not to get uh, smacked yourself. Oh, good grief! I'm getting I'm getting beat down, beat down by the slimy tentacle. All right, we got it. Ooh, more mystic treasure. I feel special. I'm just finding treasure all over the place. Woo! The map! Now we can see where we're going. And um, upon defeating those slimy tendrical things, um, it makes like passageways open up in other parts of the dungeon. So, Such as over here. No, I don't want to listen. I just said, I, Nave, listen. I am doing the commentary. You don't have to, like, say what I'm saying right after I say it. Anyway. It's a bubble room. We have 40 seconds to kill all the bubbles. So, uh, you better hurry. Fortunately, the boomerang will smack these guys down. I know to watch out. Gee. Always trying to guest commentate on me. Yeah, I know there's bubbles there. That's why I'm targeting them. Yes, I see it. There was one left. Alright, a treasure chest. Woot! Alright. It's the compass! Yes! I believe that's all the dungeon treasures, because our, our Young Link dungeons don't have keys. So, uh, sweet! We got all the dungeon treasures taken care of. She gets all mad, but if you go talk to her, you can go and pick her up again. Carry her around. We got, um, got a couple more fingers that we need to explore in this little section. There's like five rooms, so, yeah. Lots of stuff to get. Alright. This is another little slimy tendrical thing, which this opens up the very middle corridor once we defeat this one. Awesome. Aw, oh, no treasure this time. Oh well, I guess we'll just head into the middle room middle ish room now. Man, the walls in this place are just yeah, they just trip me out, man. Weird. Alright, now we have a slimy tendrical and some little electric sparky thingies. Oh boy. Awesome multifunctional fun here. Oh! One of those dudes got way too close. Oh, caught him on the rebound. Alright, now if you remember the room where we first saw Princess Ruto, there was a green slimy tentacle thing sticking to one of the holes in the ground. Now that we have defeated that, that tentacle is now gone, and we can go down that hole. Which drops us onto a ledge in the room before that we're only able to access through that particular hole. So, uh, it's the bizarre method of controlling our path through this dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and use Fiora's win. There's a secret passage down here that uh, we couldn't do much with before, but uh, ow! I don't want to have to like climb back or go back the long way so I can just warp my way back to the top. 